Welcome back to another episode of the Girl Power Alliance podcast. This podcast is like a long time in coming. <laughs> we should have done this a long time ago. I'm very excited to have uh, my special guest on here today. If you're watching this on YouTube, she is a familiar face to the Girl Power Alliance community. Let me tell you a little bit about my guest today, Miss Ferris. She is the definition of a strong warrior. From her early ages in life uh, until now, she has endured many of life's challenges and her has persevered through all of them. From an only child to having three brothers, recently married and having a child, she could not have overcome any of this without God. She was approached at a young age and asked if she knew Jesus. Not sure what that meant, she carried a children's Bible with her for many years. Little did she know that Jesus was going to be her shoulder throughout her journey to come, like so many of us, right? Knowing she has God by her side, Ferris went from an overly loud, too darn proud, too loyal and humble, and be to beyond grateful. Ferris has worked in customer service for over 15 years, and she recently started her own business, Content and Beyond, and we're going to talk about that today. Uh, she did that in July and became part of the Girl Power Alliance family. Uh, through her, her story is long, her strength is mighty, and she has always known that God will never give her more than she can handle. Welcome to the podcast, Ferris. Ah, thanks so much. I'm so excited to be here. You should have done this so long ago. Yeah, well, you know, all in due timing, all in due timing. Well, um, let me just say this to those of you that are listening to the podcast. Um, if you've been following at all the Girl Power Alliance community, you have been hearing the voice of Ferris through all of our social media and many, many other things that she has her hand in. Um, I have to say that this would not be possible without her. She is a valued and just beloved friend, and she is a valued member of the GPA family. On her bio, she put team, but we're a family. <laughs> GPA is not a team. We are a family. That's the bottom line. And um, I'm just excited for you guys to get to know a little bit about her. For those of you that are listening and you're not part of the Girl Power Alliance membership, Ferris has been going live in the group and sharing just nuggets and um, wonderful things about what she is learning as she uh, you know, has been doing this already for Girl Power Alliance and now started her own business. And I just have to say this, Ferris, that since um, you've been a part of my life, since you've been a part of Girl Power Alliance, I literally feel like you um, are just growing in leaps and bounds. Um, I feel like the, and you know, mind you, we've been getting to know each other as well, but I, I feel like the person that you were when we met and the person you are today is like light years apart. I just feel like God has done miraculous things in your life. Yeah. And all of this is happening in the middle of the like weirdest time on earth, quarantines, life shutting down, all this craziness. And yet, you know, but God, right. But God right. just right. doing amazing things. So just share a little bit about this journey. Let's just talk about from the beginning of 2020 until today. Gosh. I mean, that's a book in itself. Um, we talked a little bit before we started this and it's, it's been, it's been a journey. I mean, life just literally throws you so many things. I mean, 2020 has been absolutely insane for so many people. Um, you know, it's, you go into it thinking, you know, when, gosh, first to 2020, I was, um, an office administrator for a wedding chapel here in Las Vegas. So if you guys don't know, I do live in Las Vegas and you know, Vegas has been hit pretty hard. So when we first heard the whole thing like coronavirus and this and that, it was like, eh, whatever, you know, and we work with so many people from all over the world. So it was definitely like, Hmm, okay. And you know, when everything pretty much came crashing down in March, you know, I was like, oh, and I, I get it. And I was kind of like, okay. And I worked through it. And at that time, that's when I was introduced to you. And I definitely wasn't the person that I am today. Um, even though it's only been what five, six months, um, you know, I had a lot to process. I had a lot to go through. I was asking a lot of questions. I have, um, you know, never been without a job. So it's definitely, was something I needed to process and I had to ask God. And I think sometimes we go through life and, you know, if we don't talk to God and, you know, for a while I wasn't really in that space. And for the first time I was like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing right now? Because this is a scenario that 
a lot of people have never been in. I was never in before. And I was like, I throw my hands up. What is happening? So when I first met Michelle, I would say that was April, about a little bit about April. Um, we talked a little bit. She talked about Girl Power Alliance and it launching. And I was like, wow, that could be a really great opportunity. It would be great to be part of that. I needed to get more centered with God. And um, at the time, I just wasn't ready. So then I, uh, you know, I did some self work myself, did a lot of praying, and May came along and it was time. So since then, um, you know, GPA, I mean, gosh. I tell everybody all the time just how grateful I am because of the opportunities. And, you know, if you guys aren't part of the family yet and you aren't part of this huge movement that is happening, it's a must. I never thought in a million years that I would start my own business, which I have um, started since, you know, being with GPA. That's massive. Everything that I've learned has transpired into, you know, what I'm creating as well. So it's, it's definitely God moving in ways. And I said something to my husband the other day. I said, you know, this year has definitely been really, really tough on all of us. But I have to say this has been one of the best years for us as a couple, as a family, individually. There's so many wins happening around me that there's literally a list. So um, <laughs> it's, it's definitely when I threw my hands up and said, what are you doing? I, uh, he was like, hold on. <laughs> well, that's a lot of stuff, Ferris. And you know, it really is amazing. And what I, what I heard you say without hearing you say the word was really surrender. Like just surrendering to, okay, God, you know, here, here is where I'm at. Here is what you're doing. And, um, I feel like in a lot of people's lives, we get pushed into, um, a decision that maybe we thought about making, but we were too apprehensive, afraid, whatever, unsure, but God, but God pushes us in ways that we're like, well, I kind of don't have a choice. So I have to do this. Right. And it ends up being such a blessing. Oh, a hundred percent. I, I couldn't agree more. It's, it definitely, it felt like a push. And I also kind of feel like it was a time to, and we talk about this a lot with GPA, um, you guys listening and following it's, uh, you know, being still in those moments and really listening to him. And I think, this whole pandemic, the whole year, 2020, everything that's happening as a whole, I mean, from A to Z, it's really, he's like, come back to me because mm. I'm going to have the answers. I will have those answers for you. Um, you know, coming back to him and just being like, come to me because that's, that's what you need. And that's, and I, I feel that's what's happening with a lot of people without realizing it. Um, I seen someone in a group the other day say, Hey, I want to join a church. Oh. And I've never been to church before, but I, I think it's time. And it's just that alone through everything. And it's just, I mean, that was somebody I didn't know, just kind of scrolling through, just seeing the works that's happening. It's, um, he's, he's calling everyone back like, Hey, come back and, and listen to what I have to do. Come back to the right path. And this is what you, you know, need to do. And I said, before, <laughs> once I got let go from my job, I said, well, it had to take a pandemic for God to be like, okay, Ferris, that's enough. That's enough of this. <laughs> well, for those of you, if you're listening and you're looking for somebody who um, just will add so much value to you, take stress off of you, um, Ferris, tell everybody what you're doing with content and beyond because it's but what, what Ferris does for Girl Power Alliance, I, the list is way too long. And like I said, she's she is a valued, valued member of just our, my world. And um, you're so good at it. It feels like you've been doing it for years and years and it's relatively new for you. And mm -hmm. I just feel like that's God again, like he's taken you from like launch to expert overnight. Oh, you're so nice. I love it. She's, you guys, she tells me this all the time. And if anything, it's, that's what you want to hear. That was an environment that I was not in before. I was not valued. I was not told these things. So it's, you know, if I seem like I'm not taking it in, 
Um, it's because it's something I'm not used to. I've learned to take it in now because Michelle just, she just pounds it. She's just like, you're amazing. I love you. And it's so great. So, um, you know, like she said, for GPA, uh, you know, I came on board really to, you know, help them launch, help them launch with their social media. And social media is huge right now. That's Easy. one of the only ways people really communicate with one another and really get in touch with one another. And so I told Michelle, I said, you know, we need to be consistent with this. And I just jumped right in. I mean, honestly, yes. um, <laughs> you know, creating content, it's, I, I drive it back to being a child. Um, I was very artistic. I loved creating. I loved coloring. I just loved making things. And, you know, that's kind of where it stemmed from. And so before launch, we just pushed out so much. I said, we have to stay consistent on social media. So we were posting two, three times a day, just, you know, bringing the word into there and just pushing it and pushing it, you know, from the podcast, you know, emblems and what they look like and um, certain emails and just getting things organized. It was just, that's really my wheelhouse is, and that's what I've done for many years. I mean, yes, customer service for 15 years, but customer service, there comes a lot of uh, different things that, you know, you can get accustomed to and things that you learn. And I've had a lot of people in the past that I've learned from and little things that I've taken from and used them to myself. So I think that's where a lot of that comes from. Um, with content and beyond that got established because it was like, Hey, you know what? You're helping somebody. Why not continue and do that for yourself? I mean, we're in a pandemic. You're at home might as well help all these other people as well. There has to be a need for that somewhere. And, you know, we have uh, Kristen, gosh, love her. She is uh, the co-founder as well. She's, my goodness, she is younger, but she is mighty. Let me tell you, her information, I could just sit all day and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So she sat down with me and she said, you know what? She's like, we, we should do this. You know, you should, you should do this. And she helped me come up with the name and beyond. I always wanted to have content in there, but she said, you know, you do so much more than that. So content and bond is really all about virtual assistance, administration, and project management. So that can range anywhere from social media to your everyday business. Um, and just really automating that and helping it. And, you know, there are a lot of business owners. I mean, like Michelle, she's been in business for things her whole life. So it's, you know, having that person next to you that's like, hey, did you do this? Or, hey, here's a reminder. Or, hey, that's already taken care of. Really helps the everyday business owner not have to worry about those small little things. And so that's why content and beyond is where we're at is, you know, that is what I do. I go in and fill the gaps and it becomes so natural now. It's, um, it's so nice too, because with GPA, it was really that stepping stone. And I was able to, you know, talk to Michelle a few times and she was just like, I trust you. And I'm like, awesome. So it's, it's definitely evolved. And, um, so yeah, that's, that's really what it is. It's just getting yourself together, getting you organized. And my biggest thing that I tell anybody that I talk to is I'm going to take you from chaos to harmony because I feel like a lot of people are just in that chaotic state where there's just so much build up and so much, and we need to have a little harmony in your life too. And that's where I thrive is in chaos. So it's taking you from there to harmony and you know, we can do that in a couple of weeks. We can do it forever. <laughs> I talked to somebody the other day. I was like, how long are you planning on needing help? And she's like, the rest of my life. I'm like, okay, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> well, I just have to, I have to say it is so much more than just, con she, than just content and social media, which by the way is a beast in and of itself because it's, it's more than one thing and there's analytics involved and there's just a lot, there's a lot to, to do just, just with social media. But for those of you that are listening, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to get like, I don't want Ferris to leave us or anything, <laughs> uh, but, but I, but I, but I believe that there are, you are a hundred percent right. And for all the years that I've been in business, I've been a, basically a solo entrepreneur. I've never relied on anybody to do anything. I've done it all myself. Um, you know, just in the types of businesses that we had. And when Bobby and I had employees, it was still, there were still, I mostly did everything. <laughs> right. Like that I needed to do. I didn't delegate. But having you on board, 
um, having you come in, first of all, when you meet Ferris, you will feel what I felt. And I just mm. immediately loved her and trusted her. And she is so um, diligent and so detail oriented and has such a big heart that she really cares about your project. And so it shows because she's not just trying to throw something out there. She, what I noticed the most, Ferris, when you, because we met because of Girl Power Alliance, Tiffany introduced us. Mm -hmm. Tiffany's the only, Tiffany kept telling me, you have to meet Ferris. You're going to love her. <laughs> you have to meet Ferris. She has to be part of this team. And so um, she was absolutely right. And she, by the time we actually said, okay, yes, let's do this. Ferris had already like been watching she researched, she knew what we were all about. And that is the type of person that you want to be associated with somebody that actually cares about the mission. She's not just doing the job. And, um, I think that is, I mean, you have a lot of skills, but that's probably the thing that, that means the most to me is that you actually care. And, um, in a world where everybody's kind of just out for, for them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it seems like oh, especially yeah. in business, every people are out for them. Ferris is out for you. She's there for you. And so you'd be, you'd be lucky to have Ferris on your team. Well. <laughs> I'll, I'll just say that you'd be lucky. Don't try and take uh, her from me. Michelle is lucky. amazing. <laughs> yeah. You see you guys, this, this is what she does to me on a, on a daily basis. And I'm like, okay, okay. I get it. Um, <laughs> it's true. You know, I, I have to, I have to, you know, kind of touch on that a little bit because it's like, it's so true. And this is something that I do want to talk about in the future is, you know, you have to do it with love. And, you know, when I first talked to Michelle, you know, she was slightly hesitant because she, slightly? Had, done <laughs> she had done everything herself. I think she said that two or three times on our call. And she said, you know, I've always done things myself and I've always done them. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, all right, let me you know, let me show her. And I do believe this is something I did post on the content and beyond Instagram. And it says, you know, show them what you're about, show them. And that's one thing that I take is, um, it might be a, a <laughs> an attribute that I have that I do have to work on slightly, but I do care more about other people than my own stuff at times. But it's, it really is about doing the research about who you're working for, or who you're doing something with, or, you know, even if it's one small piece of something that somebody couldn't come up with themselves, like you have to be invested into that. And if you're not, it's, it's really going to show. And, um, you know, that's what I did with GPA for, you know, a month before it was like, okay, I think we're ready. And, I was just like constantly looking and constantly seeing and I would go to the website and I would go here and I would go there and, you know, I started following everybody and I was just like, okay, let me really get an idea. And I do that with other clients as well. I mean, even if it's a small project, um, for example, um, I'll give you an example with Marnie actually. And I don't know if you even know this. she actually reached out to me and Marnie, if you guys don't know, she is our, Yogi, she is the um, CEO and founder of Yoga Healing Ministries, and she does stuff every month, you know, based on Jesus prayer. at the mat for us. Yeah, she's amazing. So she reached out to me and she said, "Can you do me an email signature?" And she was so oh, sweet. And she is. I was I like, "Yeah," her. I was like, "Of course." And we went back and forth, but you know, before she even sent me, you know, all her stuff of what she wanted in there, I went to her website. And I went through her pages and I went through her stuff. And that's the process that I do. I go through all your stuff before you even know it, because I want to know who you are and I want to know what I'm going to go off of, because it's almost like a chameleon. You kind of, yeah, you know, form yourself to whatever, you know, that rock is or whatever, you know, that person is. And you're like, okay, let me feel what they are. And, um, side note, content and beyond is definitely was created. But before that I came up with this, um, it was called content with love. And that I think is really the core of, you know, who I am is you have to do things with love. So, um, I appreciate you saying all those great things cause you're amazing and you're incredible and I could just go on and on about it. Um, 
but yeah, it's, I do it, I do it from the heart because I, I think that's what's most important of all is doing it, you know, truly and authentically because this world, I mean, man, it's, and you can really go down the rabbit hole with things. Oh, well, I just have to say this. I mean, um, I feel so blessed. I mean, this, the, the team that we, the family that we have with our, with our core team right now is just a gift from God. Everybody is so unique. Everybody has such wonderful skills. And I feel, I have such trust in my heart that, um, and I, I don't, that doesn't, I don't say that lightly. Ferris knows. I was very, um, I was apprehensive because it's scary. This was, you know, a lot of heart and time and effort and money, you know, poured into this, this thing that, you know, got this vision that God had put on my heart. And so to, to have, to allow anybody access into kind of that inner corridor. And I know every business owner feels this way. They all feel this way. It's this birthing. It's like a child kind of. And so, um, you know, but it was like almost instantaneous with Ferris. I just felt her instantaneously and her just authenticity and heart. And so it's a, it's truly feels like, um, and I tell the girl, I told the girls one time on one of our Monday calls, I said, you know, I've been praying for this team for many years before I ever even knew that girl power Alliance was in the future. I've been praying for this core team of girls. And so if you're listening out there and you're just struggling because you know, you're running a business or you're tr wearing every hat, all 20 hats uh, that it takes. And there's just some things that you just need somebody. And, you know, you've been praying for, God, who could I get? You know, somebody that you could trust, somebody that is super skilled. I mean, the thing about Ferris is we've all, well, well I will speak for myself. <laughs> the, the, whole, the, the whole venture of Girl Power Alliance has been one new thing after the other for me. Mm -hmm. And jumping into spaces that I've never been in. Yes, I've owned businesses and stuff, but I've, all the things that we've done, almost all of them are new. They're new right. for me. And so I, I literally like trial by fire here, learning as we go. And I have seen the exact same thing with Ferris. She's like, well, I haven't done that before. But like the next day, she's an expert. I don't know how you do it. I, you, have like, <laughs> you have some special, you and Kristen have some special time zone that you live in where you get stuff, stuff done and these amazing things. But if you are just looking for somebody that can be a trusted um, ally for you and your business, then I just want to say that, that the person you've been praying for is right here. It's, it's Ferris. And oh. so, um, again, you can't have her, but you can, you can take a <laughs> you can little borrow me. Bit. <laughs> you can borrow me in my time just a little bit. Cause Michelle will be around the corner. <laughs> um, I just, you know, it, it blesses me tremendously to just tell the world about you and tell more people so they can hear about you because I know there are people that are desperate for the gifts and talents that you have. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, okay. Tell everybody how they can find you. So you can find me obviously on social media. Um, you can either go to my own personal page, Ferris C, and it's S-E-A-Y. So it's kind of like the ocean with the Y at the end, used to be Spanier. Um, you can find a lot of stuff there, but I also have a Content and Beyond page. It's just Content and Beyond on Facebook, and it's also Content and Beyond on Instagram. Um, I do have my website up and going. You guys can take a look at that. There are some scheduling in there as well. So the first session, it's a brainstorm session. It's free. We can just talk about if it's even, if I'm even a fit for you. And if it's something that, you know, you need some help with short term or long term. So it's definitely something that's where you can catch me there. And you can also catch me in GPA. <laughs> so if you're not part of the team, make sure, you know, I pop on there, you know, quite often throughout the week and talk about the things that are coming up. And, you know, I just want to say thank you so much. I am so, so blessed to be a part of Girl Power Alliance and this family. And, you know, Michelle, she's just been, the grace that she provides is beyond. Um, I talked to Kristen about this actually today. And I said, you know, I really like that when she, she texts me or she calls me or she needs me for something, there's never an expectation. It's always just like, Hey, I was thinking, you know, do you think we could do this? And she's so kind. And, you know, that's really what girl power Alliance is about and creating opportunities and giving these women, you know, all the tools that are going to equip them to be 
who they're meant to be. So if anything, I can tell you, you can be whoever you want to be. And it really starts with Girl Power Alliance. So I do want to say that. Mm, thank you. You're so sweet. Well, if you are listening um, to the podcast, don't worry. All of her information will be available in the show notes. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then just below the video, all of her information will be there. But yeah, you can go it, find her anywhere at Girl Power Alliance. If you message any one of us and say, I need Ferris, we'll hook, <laughs> we'll hook you up. We'll hook you up. And um, there's lots more to come. Ferris is going to be one of our, uh, of our special speakers at our Bloom Summit, which is coming up in November. And do you, you want to tell them just like a little tiny snippet of what you're going to talk about? Cause you already know. Yeah. So I'm super excited. Um, super pumped about the whole thing because just because of my story in general, um, I'm going to talk about social media and knowing your worth with a small audience. I think your worth is super important. A lot of people don't really value their own worth. And that is something that I struggled with for many, many, many years. Um, so yeah, it's going to be, you know, social media related, but it's also going to be, you know, showing your worth through that and how you can do it and come across authentically to the audience that you have, whether you have five followers or you have 5 million. So I'm excited about that. And, um, I just want to say that, um, it is so awesome to watch God work in your life and take you from somebody who I, when I, when I first met you, I felt like you really just didn't. Um, you didn't even know how amazing you really were. And I feel like now you are stepping into that. You're stepping into that. You were never meant to be behind the scenes. Yes, you're an amazing asset, but I'm so proud to have you um, going live inside of our private group. I'm so proud to have you going live on all the so social media pages. And I'm so proud to have you as one of the speakers and really just elevate you. You deserve it. Oh, thank you. Once again, I just love her. So I really appreciate it. I'm super excited. I think it's just going to be amazing. And I can't wait to touch everybody's hearts because I know God's just going to be working through me. He, he really is as he, as he has been and continues to. Thank well, you. thank you, beautiful girl for being on here today. Thanks so much.